NC Browser 8 allows you to access a web browser directly from Notification Center. What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeff Benjamin with iDownload Blog. You see right now I'm in Notification Center and I can swipe over and view different things like my today view, my notifications view, and now my browser view. Yes, indeed, this is NC Browser 8. It pulls, puts a full web browser directly into Notification Center. And why is this handy? Well, it's handy because normally when you're invoking normal Notification Center, you can be in any app, for instance, if I'm in the app store and I see an app that's really cool, maybe I want to do some more research on that app. So say I see, I don't know, um, let's see, Hydra, this little app here, amazing photos or whatever, or, or Push Bullet. How about that? Well, say I wanted to research Push Bullet. All I need to do is swipe down, type in Push Bullet in the little browser. And I'll just do that right now. Push Bullet. And there you go. And I can do all my research on Push Bullet and still be in the app store and still access Push Bullet just with a simple tap, just by swiping up and tapping on Push Bullet like that. So you can see why it's beneficial because you're not really breaking up. It's almost like you have you have multitasking. You're not breaking up the flow of your work. All you're doing is swiping down, accessing the information you need, and then going back to the previous information that you were that you were on. So uh, not true multitasking, but you know, kind of close to multitasking, courtesy of NC Browser 8. Now, as you would imagine, there are quite a few little functions that you can set up and that you can configure with NC Browser 8. One of the things obviously is the buttons at the bottom of the screen here. You can access those when you're in full screen mode uh, as you're browsing along, those disappear. But if you just pull down, you'll access those buttons there. You have your home button, your refresh button, full screen button. If you tap that and go into full screen, all you do is swipe up, swipe down. You can see you're in full screen view. If you want to get out of that, tap the little minus sign in the bottom right hand corner. You also have Safari. You can tap that. It'll open the link in Safari, or you can copy the link. You also have a search, which will bring up a Google search pop-up uh, for your convenience. Now, one thing that's kind of hidden here is if you tap and hold on the home button, you can access some quick links. So I have IDB set up as a quick link that can quickly access iDownload blog. Obviously, at the top, you have your address bar. You can uh, use that just like you normally would. You can even go back and forward using the little buttons in the address bar. So that is the browser portion of Notification Center, courtesy of NC Browser 8. And um, so we're just going to go back over to the uh, settings app here. So now we're going to go to the preferences of NC Browser 8, and let me show you some of the preferences that you can find here. You have a configuration tab, configuration section there. So you just want to open that up. At the top, you have a kill switch. You have quick links. That's one of the quick links I set up earlier. I set up IDB. You can set up up to four additional quick links. So you can have up to five total, and you can save those. And you also have your home page. You can configure the home page however you like it. If you want to use Google, set it as Google. If you want to use Yahoo, set it as Yahoo, etc. You can also hide all NC tabs. So if you think those tabs are taking up too much real estate, you can hide those. You can still swipe between uh, each tab, even if the tabs aren't displayed. So keep that in mind. You can make NC Browser the def default tab, which I kind of like. Um, some of you may not like that, but I like being able to swipe down knowing that NC Browser will be the first thing I see. You can also show the tool toolbar button label. And those are the little labels right there above the home button, the refresh button, those that tell you what each label or which e each button does. Uh, so you can hide those if you want to do that. I actually think I will hide those. You have a lock screen dim delay. So yes, you can access this on the lock screen and you can delay the dim so that you can you know, read your stories or whatever you're reading on your browser without being interrupted. And last but not least, you have customized browser, which allows you to go in and customize some of the colors using hexadecimal codes. Um, so yeah, so that's something else you can do if that suits your fancy. So once you get everything configured as you want it, you want to tap the respring button in the upper right hand corner and you want to select yes to apply your changes. We didn't make many changes, but we did do a few. So I want to show you that here. And this will also give me an opportunity to show you NC browser eight on the lock screen as well. So that'd be cool. All right. So we're now we're back up. Let's just swipe down. And there is NC Browser 8 right from the lock screen, folks. Uh, so that is how you can access that. Let's unlock our device. Let's go back here. Um, we hid those button labels so you can see that the labels are no longer there. Uh, so that's one thing we did. Uh, so yeah, so this is NC Browser 8, ladies and gentlemen. It is a great way. And it's actually a lot more stable than it was in the previous version. It just received an update, which brings a lot of good changes to this. It hasn't crashed only once. The previous version was crashing all the time. This version seems to be rock solid in my brief usage with it. Uh, so I do recommend this tweak, folks. NC Browser 8 allows you to access 
a, pretty much a full web browser directly from Notification Center, and I do recommend it. So if you want to try it out, head over to City's Big Boss Repo. It is $2.99 on the Big Boss Repo. It allows you to access a full browser, uh, complete with being able to open up quick links. It has a home page you can configure. You can open in Safari. You can copy links. Full screen mode, you can hide NC tabs, you can start always at the browser itself. Folks, I definitely recommend NC Browser 8. It's really cool. Uh, it even works in landscape mode. Let me just show you that real quick. I forgot to show you guys that. But let me put my, my device here in landscape mode. I'm going to swipe down and watch how it kind of just readjusts itself and you can browse in full landscape mode. So it's just something I wanted to bring out for those of you who enjoy browsing in landscape mode. Yes, you can do that in NC Browser as well. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.